just a few that uh, we have to uphold the freedom of the press. But I hold also that along with the freedom comes a very serious uh, responsibility and obligation, sir. That was the point I was driving at. Use your microphone. Why? Why did you single out Mr. Beltran? If, as you say, others have been writing ill against you. Well, because it is only Mr. Beltran who wrote what I, what I believed was a blatant lie because he wrote that I hid under the bed and in fact he wrote, if you will recall, uh, purporting to say that this was an established fact, sir. That, madam, with all due respect, is the best answer that you can give to my question. Already answered your own, no? no? I'm asking her if that's the best answer that she can give to my question. All right, let her, uh, let her answer. Whatever answers I give you today, sir, those are my best answers, and those are the answers that I believe are true and come from both my heart and my mind, sir. Do your, does your government, your administration adhere to the principle laid down in the United States versus Bustos case, the landmark case of libel, which says complete liberty to comment on the conduct of public men is a scalpel in the case of free speech. Of the sharp incision of its probe relieves the abscesses of official dam. Men in public life may suffer under a hostile and an unjust accusation, but the womb can be assuaged with the balm of a clear conscience. A public officer must not be too thin-skinned. Does your administration adhere to that principle?